Hello everyone. This is my chapter summary of chapter one of Space Case by Stuart Gibbs. So there's this dude. His name is Dashiell Gibson, and he lives on the moon, which sucks. To be precise, he lives on Moonbase Alpha, which also sucks. How it all started. Like all this, all of this moon base alpha living on the moon. How it all started. So the government fed Dasho, his parents, and every every other resident on moon base alpha fake news, baloney, and other bad stuff. And they said, "Oh, you'll be the pioneers of moon living thingy, and you you also you'll be in." History books. You'll be the people that students of the future. They'll have to memorize your names. So you're making more work for them. But still, that's cool, right? So they said deal, and so did a lot of other people. But why? Why did they do that? Why did? Why did the president have lunch with them? And why did the secretary of the U.S. eat with them? And talk with them. Why did so many people talk with these dudes and other people and lie to their faces about how good it is to live on the moon? How、oh, it's because humanity—that's us. Yeah, you know that, right? Because you're human, right? We're quickly depleting Earth's resources. This is actually true in real life too, you know. But in this book, we already used like almost all of. Literally all of our resources. So people are like, ah, we need we need to get on another planet. So let's just throw away Earth and let's just go somewhere else. And this is because and and we don't have any time to do like any good research or like find out really suitable planets that are that are very close to us because Earth's resources are depleting as fast as us. Putting fire on another human being, and and it's so fast. It's like that person, that the speed of that person turning into ashes after you set them on flame. That's pretty fast, right? It's kind of like that, but a little less, cause Earth is bigger than a human. So here we are at Moon Base Alpha. So you might think that Dashiell is like a whiny kid because he's like, oh, this place stinks. But he's not. He's not a whiny kid. Because in fact, Moonbase Alpha sucks, and the reasons are up above. The food—it's trash. No, I'm not eating that. That's dry, compressed air, compressed. I don't know. Comfort as an oil refinery. It, maybe that's comfortable. I don't know, but I mean, I don't think so. Temperature never even warm. It's cold as ice. Toilets. Might as well be a medieval torture device. See, you, look at look at that. The W C sign. They're they're staring at you and they're they're laughing. They're laughing in your face. All my legs. So the nickname for the residents of the M B A is Moonies. Kind of dumb. I don't know. I I don't know if that. It's, I guess it's cute. I don't know. Sure. So. These residents make logs and recordings, basically like blogs, and they just say, "Hey, look at my life, even though I'm boring." Yay, yeah. But most of what they say isn't the truth. Well, it may be the truth, but they can't say, "Oh, bong." It's it may not be the very truth that they want to say. They want they what they want to blab, but they can't. If a Mooney badmouths the NBA or the government or NASA or whatever, it's all taken out. So how this happens is that a guy who screens over all these blogs, he 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 looks at all the videos and say, and if there's something that's not that's not good, if it's badmouthing, then he's like, yeah, that's that's no good, and then into the virtual trash that file goes. So food, most of it sucks, but there's like good ones like shrimp cocktail or I don't know pudding. I don't know. I haven't I haven't tried it. Maybe ice cream. I don't know. But like, but chicken parmesan, it's it's bad. No, no good. Because if you eat it, you you're guaranteed two trips to the bathroom in the night. You want that? Like not not 
not at like 9 p.m., like 2 a.m. And that's what happened to him at 2.15. And this, why it happened is because Dasho, he, he knows, he knows chicken parm does this. So he always avoids it, but one day he ate it, took a bite, and before he knew it, he went he had diarrhea because the packaging labels are poop. Like what he did at two fifteen, because they just I bet I guess they just slapped any label onto any food. Yeah, and all the foods look the same as well, so it's hard to tell. They're like, is that chicken parm? Oh yeah, I'm not eating that. Actually, I was putting you, idiot. So he went to the toilet at two fifteen. And he took a crap, and he pressed pressed the flush. Uh-oh, it clogged. It doesn't flush. So what do I do? No, wait, not me. What does he do? Well, in the book, it says, Oh, take out the separator and get a new one. Whoop. But I don't know what that is, and he doesn't either. Look at, look at his face. Do you think that's a face that knows what to do? So then Dr. Ronald Holtz comes in, and he's very brilliant, and he takes a piss, and then... He gets on a phone call, which is, it's not, it's not a phone call, but, like, that comes out later, so. <sighs> should, should I have to told you that? I don't know. With whom? It's coming out later, so wait. And Dash was like, all right, that, that, that was a weird phone call that I just eavesdropped on. You shouldn't eavesdrop, kids. Don't, don't do that. No, no. Don't. So. Dash was like, okay, he's gonna he's gonna talk all about that weird discovery that he made in in in, in the phone call and he's gonna share it with everyone in the morning. But at 5 30 a.m. in the morning, he makes an unauthorized trip out to the airlock. And two minutes later he's dead. So what the heck happened? And uh you can't find out because it's a cliffhanger. I don't want to do this to you guys, but I mean, that's where the chapter ends. And this, the title of this video is chapter one summary. I can't have chapter two in here, right? I can't even have an excerpt of it or else you're going to get mad at me in the comments. You're going to say, hey, this is chapter two. Hey, why are you doing that in chapter one summary? So, okay, that's the end of the chapter. Tune in next time or buy the book if you're impatient, but pl please tune in. I need, I need views and money. Okay, bye. Oh, so that's, that's it for today. We'll, I'll see, not we. Who's we? I don't have a production team. I'll see you in the next one.